Hello everyone, this is ASMR today welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorial. Today uh, I'm gonna show you how to edit a portrait photo like this. And the bright eyes and the smooth skin. Okay, let's start. At first I'm going with the file and then open. I'll open up the stock image, this one. And I downloaded this photo from the devina.com and uh, you can get download link in my video description so at first i will apply dodge burn in this phase so that's why i have uh, actions and i'll give that action download link in my video description so don't forget to check it out and one thing is that if you are new in my channel please do subscribe my channel and share with your friend okay at first i'm going with the action options if you are not getting this icon over there you have to go to the window and the actions or alter f9 from the keyboard after that here the dodge burn option okay from the retouch options just select here and press the play button select ok ok couple of window will appear on your screen and hit the ok button to apply those okay you'll get this effect okay the previous one and the present one before and after one but uh, you should adjust the light uh, because of this section or this portion is just overexposed uh, here is the light options and you can adjust this one like that okay okay that's good and hit the ok button okay that's good and after that I'll select unlock this layer and select these two layer make it another group and making it merge okay after that make another copy of this layer after I'll go to the filter and the imagine portrait view filter or portraiture filter from the portraiture filter here is the options uh, I'll select the medium at first and then here is the enhancement option you can adjust the sharpness you can make it more soft or you can make it more warm or cool whatever you want and tint if you add tint it will be yellowish or warm and if you just reduce the tint it will be red type and you can increase the brightness and you can just adjust the brightness whatever you want you can do and you are watching the before and after window over there and then hit the ok button after that it's good but uh, some sharpness just reduced that's why i have to get it back the sharpness so mask this one and just make it invert mask by pressing ctrl i and then you'll get again the previous one but uh, you will have to brush this one uh, the face or the screen uh, skin actually uh, okay here is the brush take this one when this one is black you'll have to make it white and the opacity a little bit down and flow a little bit down if you want to make the brush size bigger you have to press the third bracket opening or closing you can control that brush okay just brush over there you'll get the smooth skin not brush in our eyes don't do that okay brush those don't brush on a skin actually brush on a skin don't brush on our eyes or the lips otherwise the sharpness will be reduced okay that's good okay okay after that select these two things make it group make it march after doing march go to the filter before that i have to increase the eye color that's why i have to just take a new blank layer and take brush reset this brush make it white and just brush size make it smaller select once before that you have to check the opacity i have to opacity make it 100% and flow 100% just click once and here once after that go to the blending mode and make it overlay 
the eye color will increase like that okay after that select these two things make it group make it merge after that go to the filter and the camera filter from the camera filter you can adjust the lights or other things like that I'll down the shadow a little bit actually highlight and add some shadow add some white color reduce the blacks and then go to the sharpening amount amount of sharpening increase luminance of noise reducer increase and after that go to the HSL option and down the orange color and increase the luminance of orange color decrease the saturation luminance of red color and increase the saturation of red color it will make red or help you to make it like that okay add some yellow in a just saturation and hit the ok button after that you'll get nice effect of from this picture this one is the raw or um, studio portrait and after you hit that retouch that you'll get this type of portrait and this one is a professional look and thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial if you have any kind of question or query please do comment on my video comment section and don't forget to subscribe my channel and share with your friend till the next video i am ac marif signing out and bye bye